Quick announcement, totally switching up the format of the videos. Not gonna be doing Leezy's life till the end of 2021. And the reason is because the structure of Leezy's life was supposed to be lifestyle stuff outside of the studio, kind of going around my day, just like stuff like that. And that's not what I want to do for the rest of the year. I really want to focus on Peaceful Fridays, brand new song every week. And I just feel like me, like honestly, I just don't have the time to freaking take my camera and go outside and show you all these things with my life and then splice it up. And I, I just don't have time for all that. What I have time for is to take you into the studio, show you how I made my new songs and like I'm putting out a brand new song every week, every Friday for the rest of the year. So for right now, I'm still doing a new video every week. So you're still getting me on your screen every single week. I'm just kind of changing up the format, not calling it Leezy's Life. So officially Leezy's Life season two ended. When 2022 comes, I might bring Leezy's Life back. But for now, we're just gonna keep it with this behind the scenes format, me breaking down songs and showing you how I do it. So without further ado, I'm gonna break down the new song coming out this week, which is called Love Lost. It's actually a pretty dope song. It's kind of a lo-fi, smooth hip hop track. It, it, it's from the perspective of a breakup. Now, the actual story in the song is not a real story that actually happened to me. It's more of kind of like a depiction of, you know, it, it, when you make songs, it's like a compilation of things that have happened in your past or whatever and kind of stories and you, you put it together and you make a song. So uh, I'm really excited to show you this one. Went through a lot of different versions of it mixing wise. I'm really happy with what I came out with. So without further ado, let's get to the computer and I'm going to break down my new single, Love Lost. First thing I want to show you is this piano I did for, uh, using a plugin called Arcade. Very smooth. hard to hear. You can kind of hear it if you have some headphones on. Drums, very smooth drums. So I'm just going to play this out. Very smooth song. You can already tell. It's one melody instrument, one bass, three total drums, and that's it. Very smooth. So then the next, we get into the hook. We have a couple other instruments in there. Same piano, just played it a little differently. I also added vocal sample. You already know how I feel about these vocal samples, bro. Can I use enough vocal samples? This is the hook. Chill with it. I'll break down the way the vocals sound. How do you be tripping? I ain't hit you back. Been a long night, let's not fight. Girl, I'm not with that. I've been on the road grinding too hard. Something that I did with this song was I was definitely way, way more like melodic rapping with the auto tune. have to play that card. Maybe I'm not and it's funny actually, when I first rapped this, I recorded it twice. I recorded one like this. Look what you made me do. Look what you made me Singing, right? But I also recorded a different version where I was straight rapping with more of like a, just a rap tone of voice, not singing. And I showed it to my homie Gabe and he was like, you gotta go with the singing one, dude. This sounds super smooth. I was like, cool. So kind of the first time I've ever really done something like that in terms of the rapping. Mixing wise, I, I like to try to make my vocals crispy, cut through the mix, but also sound full and not too thin. It's a really, it's hard. It's taken me, what, three years to accomplish that. And I'm still working on it every day. It's not something I'm totally great at. Hook comes in, very minimal hook. You know, sometimes in my songs, the hooks are very like lots of stuff, kind of a bigger hook. This is a more of a hook, a breakdown hook. So I'll kind of play it at the end of the first verse into the hook. All communication must improve. I need you to see my point of view. Been a long time. So then next verse is a rapping verse. I'm not going to play you that. I want to go into the bridge though, because the bridge is special. I did something, you know, I like, really like what I did with the bridge. First thing I did, I took the piano and reversed it. I reversed it. Got that vibe to it. Obviously got that from Drake. And then I had the bass come in. You can see the speakers moving, huh? 
I love watching those speakers move, man. And then also got a, a different set of drums. Quick tip, if you're a producer, one thing that I've done that I got from my homie Corey was, you know, you got your drums that you made for parts of the song, make another, make drums again. Make a second or even a third. I, I don't ever do three sets of drums, but make now a second set of drums for a different part of the song. So these drums, different. Like It was like, all right, I'm doing the drums from scratch now for just this part. And it adds a different balance, a different flavor, a different energy for this section. Have my vocals come in. It's been so long. Super vibey vocals, you know what I mean? Like it just gives that atmosphere vibe. It's been so long. Panned out, obviously the vocals are panned. It's been too long. And it's just all I'm saying is it's been too long. It's not complicated, but like, it's been too long. Short, short and sweet. Then a hook breakdown. Been a long time. A long time. Really smooth, chill song. Really smooth, chill it's been song. A long time. All the drums come back in. Um, since we felt that way, remember we didn't go without each other even for a day. Now we both lost. lost. Is this love gone? The song has obviously meaning to it. Like I was talking about in the beginning of the video, it, it's it's from the perspective of a breakup. Like it, it's when you break up, you know what I'm saying? In a romantic relationship, it can be super hard. But you know. When I'm making songs like this, generally it's a, it's a really interesting perspective. I don't make breakup songs like when I you don't make songs. Okay, not even just breakup. Sorry, I'm hella. But when you make a song, when I make a song, generally it is after something's happened for months. So like I I you know I went through a breakup uh, hella long ago, like years ago. I didn't make this song until like a year after that all happened because my mind was able to like, you know, comprehend it. I sat on it, you know what I'm saying? It kind of, it sits in and you kind of start to realize the effects of what just happened. But it takes a long time. And that's like that with all my songs, any mood, any vibe, the motivational songs I do, the workout songs, the love songs, um, you know, uh, everything. It, it takes a long time for things to transpire. And I would like to show you when I, uh, yeah. So, you know, that that's that's how this music thing works is sometimes I, I make a song about something, but the thing, and, and like I said, this song wasn't about a specific event. Like this song was a, 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 a story of a compilation of a bunch of different things that happened. And it was a little bit of like making stuff up. Like it's cr creating a message, you know, it's creating a, a story. So that's the song. And if you're watching this right now and the song has not dropped, then make sure to like and subscribe. Of course, like and subscribe to the channel. We've got a new video coming out every single week. And as well, if you are watching this and the song is already dropped, it'll be below in the description. Go check the song out. Brand new single every single Friday to end off 2021. So go listen to the song on the, you know, wherever you go listen to music, all right? Thank you so much. Appreciate you for watching another one of my videos of how I make my music. And I'll see you next time. Peace.